Ready? <laughs> Great. So oh, easy you too. Look. Oh, you look good. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> I finally get to see the dress. Yeah. Is this what you thought I would pick? <laughs> Maybe the style, yeah. I just wasn't sure though. I had, there was no way I could guess. <laughs> you look so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at you. Oh man, you look great. Shiny shit. I know, man. Isn't it really pretty? Mm -hmm. You look good. Mm -hmm. We clean up nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how are we doing? Do you want to read first or should I read first? I don't know. Uh, Susie has my book. Susie well, has she has my book. <laughs> Because <laughs> I didn't get to write mine. Oh, okay, good. that's fine. <laughs> Did you write yours in your book? Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance. Yeah, well, there's a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> I will never so do much. You I've known it from the moment that we met. No doubt in my mind where you belong. I'd go hungry, I'd go black. I go crawling down the avenue No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love All I can think about is how thankful I am. Thankful that I met you and got to know you those few weeks at Oxford and that we stayed in touch when you left. Thankful for all the time we spent building our life together these past seven years. Thankful for your undying love, support, and acceptance. And most of all, thankful that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I feel incredibly lucky and blessed to have you standing here with me but I know our love's journey doesn't end here. Rather, it is a new beginning or the next chapter in our never-ending love story. I'm so excited for our future together and the countless opportunities we'll have to create more lasting memories with each other. I look forward to us growing closer together day by day as husband and wife. We're nearly at the point of this special day where we share a kiss that is meant to bind us together for life, but unfortunately for our guests, they may have already missed that moment. <laughs> I believe the kiss we shared after that first tavern party was the one that sealed our fate. It sparked a feeling in me that I knew I wouldn't be able to replicate or replace no matter what. That being said, I will still hold our next kiss in equally high regard and will forever cherish it as much as I do our first. I promise to always be there for you, whether it be to help or just support you. I promise to do whatever I can to make our life feel like a dream you never want to wake up from. I promise to earn the right to be called your husband each and every day. And finally, I promise to love you with every fiber of my being, as long as we both shall live and beyond. <laughs> I love you. Oh I don't want to mess with you. I know, I know. She's still here, though. She's okay. going to have to touch me back up. I already knew that. 
I don't even recognize myself. These are Wow, Gorgina. Wow, the hair, the hair, the eyes. I've never done my lips like this, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> I can't recreate that. Oh, it's beautiful. Joe, you guys did so good. I'm glad we're doing this here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cause I'm already like here. Um, okay. Uh, from the first moment that we met, I knew that you were the missing piece to my incomplete series. Um, you see, and you know, I have a tendency to hesitate when it comes to finishing shows. Mm -hmm. um, because reaching the end means saying goodbye to characters. Um, and stories that have become a part of my life, our life. Um, but with you, <laughs> Christian, um, I have never hesitated for a moment. Just as I find it difficult to bid <laughs> farewell to, you know, beloved characters and series, I promise to never shy away from um, a beautiful journey of our love. I can't wait to eventually finish every show with you by my side and to see our love story through through the very end. So today, when we go up there surrounded by our loved ones, I vow to love you unconditionally through any and all seasons of life, just as we eagerly anticipate the next season of our favorite show. <laughs> I promise to cherish every moment we spend together knowing that our love story will never truly come to an end, but will continue to evolve and grow with each passing day. Um, with you, I have found my forever series and I can't wait to binge watch it for the rest of my days. Um, I love you more than these simple words can express. And I look forward to facing life's cliffhangers and plot twists and everything in between with you by my side. Um, I love you to the moon and back. I am yours now, forever and always. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, I love them. <laughs> oh. Guys, 
You know. <laughs> it doesn't make it any less beautiful. It doesn't because you know I love you. <laughs> to the moon and back. Thank you. Mm. I love you. Love you too. Got a bag full of feelings and a house full of regrets. This baggage is gonna fit to no plane. Don't mean to digress. Not only to witness the union of Whitney and Christian in marriage, but also to celebrate the joining of two families and communities. In this moment, we acknowledge the deep significance of family and the support of friends who have played a crucial role in the shaping the lives of our beloved couple. As we come together to honor this special occasion, we also recognize that love is not confined to the hearts of just the bride and the groom. Love is shared among all of us, their cherished guests, who have gathered here from near and far to witness this beautiful union. In the spirit of unity, I invite each and every one of you to partake in a meaningful tradition, a symbolic giving away of the bride. Whitney and Christian have asked for your blessings and support as they embark on this new chapter of their lives together. So to all of you who have been a part of their journey, who have supported and loved them, I ask, will you, their beloved family and friends, join me now in this act of unity and offer your wholehearted blessings and support as we officially entrust Whitney into the loving care of Christian for the rest of their lives? Please respond with a resounding, we do. We do. All right, thank you. Let us pray. Gracious Father God, we give you thanks for your gift of enduring love and your presence here with us now as we witness the vows of marriage between Whitney and Christian. We ask you to bless this couple in their union and throughout their life together as husband and wife. Keep and guide them from this day forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Today, promises become permanent and friends become family. This day is not about the words spoken or the rings exchanged, nor is it about grand pronouncements and recessional marches. This day, the day of Whitney and Christian's wedding is about love. One of my favorite authors once wrote, if love is not all, then it is nothing. This principle and its opposite 
collide down all the years of my breathless tale. Whitney and Christian, your breathless tale is about to begin. If love is not all, then it is nothing. It's opposite. If love is all, then it is everything. It's going to be the basis for every aspect of your relationship. All you have to do is simply love one another, and that love shows through in everything you do for one another and how you treat each other in good times and bad. Love isn't just a word, it's an action. Love isn't something you say, it's something you do. Love is genuine, honest, open, compassionate and kind, passionate and blind. Love doesn't know space or time, nor look through jealous eyes. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. There are many different kinds of love, almost if not all of which are represented here today. There's romantic love, the love of parents and children, of brothers and sisters and family, and love among friends. Not only do Whitney and Christian love one another romantically, and they do, you can see it in every look, every touch, every moment they're together. They also love one another as friends. In fact, they're best friends, constantly giggling and taunting and teasing and very plainly and obviously having fun together. That love and enjoyment of each other as best friends will sustain them through this marriage. In addition, the love collectively in this room from friends and family will help sustain and support the promises they make today. All of us here will help solidify this bond as these two individuals are joined as husband and wife. Whitney and Christian, this new journey will be at times richly rewarding and extremely difficult. But most importantly, it will be a journey you take together. Marriage is much more than your signatures on a legal contract. You're promising in front of all of these people you love that you want to be with each other and only each other for the rest of your lives and that you'll do everything in your power to honor the promises you are making here today. For their part, the people who love you will also do everything in their power to try to help you hold up your end of the bargain. Right at this time, we will now be joined by the groom's uncle, Kevin Ward, for a reading. Join me in rejoicing as we behold the many of two souls, solving them on perfectly formed cards. Take within it only for the two of you to have as a whole for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse. Putting only God first. While deep diving yourself further than each other's soul surface, you are gathered together on purpose. He who finds a wife alone will be its flaw, but combine you are perfect and are worthy to love her without description. And may the condition of your heart be written in a love language upon your comprehension that extends beyond words. And the serve to be your actions of kindness to one another. May God's grace be. So each waking day, you'll uncover equipment limits, swim to perform all the written notes of love to your heart's will. And father got to make precision. Mixing Afro beats and Southern hip hop will be the meaning to each other's life. In this world of competition, it aims to remain equally well one in the same. Immovable and unbreakable like a ball and shit. And in this covenant, let your love be the master key to unlock the most vulnerable chambers of your spirit. So when you cry out for help in your own societies, each of your wills will still be. And be so submerged within each other that no pain can take you under. For the heavens gaze in wonder at such a beautiful creation. And God takes a pause to applaud himself for a job well done. The perfect form of making two into one flesh and sin. Breath on the same mother, so that your inhale will forever give life to your marriage. What you have is not average, so that your means be like the crowns of the king and the queen that you profoundly love. Cherish each passing second like this, your very last. Grab the time. 
Understand that you can be granted the gift of one another, so never take it lightly and light the eternal flame so the inferno is moved from the sun. It will be swirled as the top of the wonder and the presence of your God. We understand that you stand in the presence of the Most High, firmly holding hands with a commitment to be submissive as more than just a woman and a man, but as husband and wife. You have to let your love die by continuously loving each other with your life. Because all of the things are worth the sacrifice. You know, night sight is only the clock that stops for the globe to watch this fairy tale unfold. As it holds it in the palm of its hand, so you will never let each other go. And even though many say, Father, time away from the one, I pray that our Father in heaven will slow down your life and will appear as a rewind. So you can fall in love over and over, in and out of time. Christian? Yes. Do you take Whitney to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore? Whitney? Do you take Christian to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore? I do. All right. And to everyone here, do you promise to stand by this couple, to remind them of their vows, and to act as an example of love and family? Please yell a hearty, we do. All right, thank you. You fell in love by chance but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes your life brighter. You're about to make promises to each other that you intend to keep. You're gonna to vow to take care of each other, to stand up for one another, and love one another. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. You're coming together as a team and saying to the other, I want to share my life and experiences with you. And Christian, at this time, will you look Whitney deep in the eyes and repeat after me? <laughs> Whitney, I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. Whitney, I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to love you. I vow to love you. Encourage you. Encourage you. Trust you. Trust you. And respect you. As a, family, As a family, we will create a home filled with learning, create a home, <laughs> learn laughter and compassion. I promise to work with you, to foster and cherish a relationship of equality, knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Today I choose you to be my wife. I accept you as you are. And I offer myself in return. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adversities and all of its joys from this day forward and all the days of my life. All right. Whitney, please look Christian deep in the eyes and repeat after me. <laughs> Christian, I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. Christian, I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to love you. I vow to love you. Encourage you. Encourage you. Trust you. Trust you. And respect you. And respect you. As a family, as a family, we will create a home filled with learning. We will create a, a home filled with learning, <laughs> laughter and compassion. <laughs> I promise to work with you. I promise to work with you to foster and cherish. To foster and cherish a relationship of equality. A relationship of equality, knowing that together we will build a life. Knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Far better than either of us could imagine alone. Today I choose you to be my husband. Today I choose you to be my husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I accept you as you are. I accept you as you are. And I offer myself in 
in return. And I offer myself in return. I will care for you. I will care for you. Stand beside you. Stand beside you. And share with you. And share with you. All of life's adversities. All of life's adversities. And all of its joys. And all of its joys. From this day forward. This day forward. And all the days of my life. And all the days of my life. May we have the rings, please? <laughs> the perfect circle of the ring symbolizes eternity. The precious metal came from the ground as a rough ore and was heated and purified, shaped and polished. Something beautiful was made from raw elements. Love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It is the process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. all. Right, Christian, please place the ring on Whitney's finger and repeat after me. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. As I give you my heart. As I give you my heart. Unreservedly. Unreservedly. And unconditionally. And unconditionally. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As I give you my love. As I give you my love. Exclusively. Exclusively. And eternally. And eternally. All right, Whitney, please place the ring on Christian's finger and repeat after me. I give you my hand as I give you my heart, unreservedly and unconditionally. I give you this ring as I give you my love, exclusively and eternally. Christian and Whitney have chosen as a... The letters describe the good qualities they find in one another the reasons they fell in love, and their reasons for choosing to marry. The letters are sealed in individual envelopes and they have not seen what the other has written. Whitney, Whitney and Christian, you've created your very own romantic time capsule to be open on your first wedding anniversary. On your first wedding anniversary, open the box, read the love letters, pop open the bottle of wine, and celebrate. Then write each other a new love letter, get a new bottle of wine, and repeat every year. I recommend that you keep that box in a place of honor prominently displayed in your home as a constant reminder of your commitment to each other. Whitney and Christian, should you ever find your marriage enduring insurmountable hardships, you are two as a couple open this box, sit and drink the wine together, then separate and read the letters you wrote to one another when you were united as a couple in marriage. By reading these love letters, you will reflect upon the reasons you fell in love and chose to marry each other today. You may now seal your box. Whitney and Christian, in the presence of this good company, by the power of your love, because you have exchanged vows of commitment, we recognize you as joined as one. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. Privileged to introduce you for the very first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Christian and Whitney Jester. Since we've been together 
because I ain't cried at my wedding, so <laughs> I got to get it together. But it's pretty crazy that my first memory with Christian was us getting in trouble. And now this man is my daughter's godfather. We were in sixth grade orchestra class, playing computer games, waiting for our bus to get called. Obviously, we were goofing off because we didn't hear the call, and we had to call home for rides. Like I said, we had just moved here from Detroit. Whoops, okay. And my mom made it clear we shouldn't go anywhere if she didn't know who was taking us. Unfortunately that day, my mom wasn't answering the phone. And when Mama Ward got to the school, she told me, I'm your mom for now, and I'm taking you home. My mom got so mad when she got home. But then she met Christian and Mama Ward and instantly told me that's gonna be family. My mom was right because now I was hanging with Christian every day since we share all of our classes together, plus playing in the neighborhood with our friends, multiple people at this table, literally since sixth grade. Uh, even when Christian went to college, and let me stop there, this man went to college in 10th grade. 10th grade. Like, that boy smart. So, even when Christian went to college early, we made sure to stay in contact with each other. And when he came home for breaks, we got back to whatever we were doing before. Now, let's go forward about a decade. Me and Christian decided to get an apartment together once we got our first big boy jobs. I'm at work one day. Christian shoots me a text and asks if he can have an apartment. I said, of course, bro. I'll just go to my now wife, but girlfriend at the time's apartment. Apparently, he wanted to cook for a new friend he has. After I get off, I go home to pack a bag and this man is in there doing everything. He's cleaning places of the apartment I've never seen before. He's cooking something that smelled amazing. I can't lie, I got a bit jealous because I'm supposed to be this man's best friend, but he had never cooked me a meal like this. But once I met Whitney, it all made sense. To say she complete, completes Christian would be an understatement. She can be just as goofy as him while also being able to get him to get serious. Mama Ward couldn't even do that, and trust me, she was trying that for years. <laughs> Hang around them long enough, and as we see here today, and you'll see Christian have the biggest smile. We literally were just saying, we saw this man's wisdom teeth all day today. 
all his wisdom to you. Welcome, Gary Rooney, y bienvenido to all of Whitney's um, and Christian's loved ones. My name is Susanna Ventura, and it is an honor to stand here as Whitney's maid of honor. I am going to keep this short and sweet because I can't promise I'll be able to speak through my tears. Whitney knows I'm a double Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> um, my friendship with Whitney is one of my favorite things to talk about. We met in sixth grade at 11 years old, and we've been sisters ever since. And that's not an exaggeration. That's, um, Whitney has always been more than a friend to me. My whole family is here as proof. <laughs> She's the most understanding, supportive, and patient person I know. Whitney, I want you to know <laughs> that you truly inspired me to be a better person. I can't see my phone. <laughs> Sometimes I can't believe that I get to live this life with you. We've lived through so many life experiences together, but watching you marry the love of your life is my favorite one. You look so beautiful today. And Christian, you clean up nice too. <laughs> the effort you both put into today really, really shows. The way you two come together and compliment each other fills my heart with happiness. I am so excited for what's to come for both of you and all the adventures you'll, you'll get into. Christian, you won the heart of an extraordinary woman. Please take care of my Whitney Poo. And I really love you both so much. Everybody, please help me toast for the happy couple. Let's raise our glasses high for their love. God's greatest commandment is to love and to love one another. In a generation filled with divorces, single parents, unmarried couples, finding love feels so rare. But your union today is a perfect example that love and the idea of marriage truly exists. God meticulously crafted you both for one another down to every single detail. I think everyone can agree that relationships are hard and everyone has their unique challenges when, when it comes to maintaining their relationships. But I truly believe that the grass is not greener. Sometimes you have to water your own grass. You have to nurture your relationships, pour into each other and protect it. That cultivation allows a relationship to blossom into something beautiful. Your marriage is a testimony on how you both been watering your own grass during your relationship. I hope that you both continue to pour into one another, listen to one another, empathize with one another, and most importantly, love one another, no matter how hard the, cir how hard the circumstances are. It wouldn't feel right if I don't take you down memory lane when I first met Christian. <laughs> I lost my mother from a battle with cancer, and I moved across the United States to live in Georgia with my father at the age of 12. My entire life changed in a blink of an eye. I left all my childhood friends, my family, my support system, and it was in a stage of my life where I felt vulnerable, depressed, and at my lowest. She was more than a mother to me. She was my best friend, my confidant, my role model, and my provider. Buried deep inside of me was an unfilled void within me after she passed, a piece of me that I could never reclaim, I can never get back. It was like having a puzzle without having all the pieces. Little did I know is what God had in store for me. He had another family for me. Not by blood, but by choice. Christian and Kayline were the first friends I ever met when I first came to Georgia. Their families embraced me with open arms as if I had known them for years. Your parents were so generous, loving, and thoughtful and kind to me. These traits all trickle down to their sons, Christian and Kaylon. Now today, your moms are my moms, your family is my family, and that void I once had unfilled, sometimes, somehow filled, filled. I lost my mom, but I gained two families that year when I needed the most support I've ever needed in my life. You all were always there for me when I felt alone. You don't know how instrumental you are in making the man you see today. I never had siblings growing up, but now I have brothers I can rely on and look up to. Today I'm honored to celebrate with my brother, and now we have more family members to embrace Whitney and her family. I love you with my whole heart, Christian and Whitney. I love you both. 
You know, I wish you have a happy marriage. I hope your marriage is filled with love, selflessness, compassion, passion, passionate, and also empathy, and most importantly, God. Thank you. I mean, standing up here, look at all these people up here celebrating Whitney and Christian. There is so much love here today, and I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you all for coming out and celebrating them. This has been an incredible journey, and we've been very lucky to be part of it with you all. You're both a beautiful couple, so please give it up to them today. But let's be honest, today is for the parents for the aunties, and for the aunties. So please give it up to them as well. Anyways, he introduced me as Grace, but you may know me as one boy as well. And I am Whitney's cousin. Her family might be trying to figure out where I come in on the family tree, so let me explain. <laughs> Whitney and her family are my chosen family. We gained quite a few of those in our earlier days in Athens, and I will tell you, these families raised us as a village should. Whitney has been a part of my life since our families ran into each other in church, and from then on, we have remained family even from a distance we had. On behalf of our village cousins, they would like me to share that Whitney has been a sister to all of them, especially since none of them have sisters, some of them. They have been grateful in growing up with such an incredible role model, and they love you very much and wish you the best. As for me, I've always called her my little big cousin because I was always the one in trouble while she laughed in support behind the scenes. <laughs> or maybe it was because I was always getting caught. She was the one asking, what did you do this time? Because I did get in trouble a lot. And in turn, I was always laughing at her most unfortunate adventures, some of which included being stung by a dragonfly. I probably should have laughed at that one. And running all the way home and being peed on by an iguana on vacation. <laughs> One thing has always been clear to me in all our moments, and it's that Whitney is the most loyal person you will ever meet. Once in, she's in your life, you're in her life forever, Christian. So Christian, just know that you're extremely lucky that this beautiful lady has chosen to spend the rest of her life with you. You won't be able to get rid of her now that it's a done deal. Also, welcome to our crazy African family. <laughs> You've proven time and again that you're more than capable of keeping up with all of us. I want to end by saying that anyone here can see how strong both, you both are together and how much you both love each other. You will continue to find joy in each other and, you will love, and your love will continue to grow even in those moments that may seem impossible. And Christian, I would say to make sure you treat our girl right, but I know that she can hold her own. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. So Caroline is my sister, she's my mother's sister. And she taught us a lot. We grew up under her iron fist. I'm telling you, iron fist. They say if you want to go far, sorry, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. I see you've chosen to go far. And that's amazing. We know that it's not everybody who is able to find the one, and you have found him. He's amazing. He has the biggest luck you've ever met. He is amazing with me. You have chosen the latter, and we could be happier for you going far. Take a leave from your mother. I've known Caroline all my life. She has set a good example all this time. One thing you know about her is that she nurtures her relationships. Truly nurtures them. Learn from her. I'm so proud to, I'm so proud to see you in Boston. I see she's brought you up well. And both of you are there. I see you are supporting Christian earlier this year. During a time when big burdens are better shared to be honest. Thank you for that. So learn from her. She shows up for family all the time. She gets into the thick of things. Even Dr. Musioka, the doctor. 
when he comes to Africa, when he's known as Coco. <laughs> My sister will make chapati with the best of them while we open up. She remembers everybody's name. They have kept their friends from Kenya, their Iowa friends, their Atlanta friends, their family. Best of all, they've remained an example together for us. They've been married for 32 years. My sister goes married in 23 years. What? 23? My God. But anyway, Whitney and Christian, I'd like to say we are so happy, we are so excited. You've given us an opportunity to expand our family. Christians people are our people. And we are now going to have more people among us. So lovely to welcome Christian and his parents as our people. We are here for you, here to celebrate you. And then Bambali Pabonja, go far together and we'll be there together. Thank you. Uh, this is a lovely evening. I'm wearing two hats today. Uh, I'm representing also my dad, who incidentally is the grandfather to Whitney. So basically, he's in Kenya, but he sent me a message, and I'd like to read it out to you guys. To Whitney and uh, Christian, this is your grandfather, major retired Batia Kamau in Rironi, Limuru, Kenya. I wish to congratulate you for finding a man who loves you that you would want to live with for the rest of your life. This is a big decision and you are on the right road to fulfill God's plan to mankind. He told us to leave our parents and unite as man and woman and make a home of our own in partnership where love, peace and prosperity can thrive. He also said go into the world and multiply. You're coming from a home, I believe, exactly performing God's plan that your mom and dad have raised you in. Please do the same for yourself and to you, Christian. I'm delighted having seen you grown from an infant and to an adult with good character and in harmony with your parents. As you go forward, please emulate your parents the way they have brought you up, educated you, cared for you, loved you, and you will be blessed by God. In Kikuyu, which is our ethnic tribe, if we can use that, we say that a home is built by the woman and can also be destroyed by the same person. So therefore, Whitney, you have a huge responsibility to build a home where love and peace abide. I wish you and bless you to create that home, supporting each other. And Mr. Christian, again, once again, I'm sorry I was not able to attend the wedding because I'm not feeling well. But I hope I will be able to visit you in future. May the good Lord bless and keep you. Your loving a grandfather, major, retired, Mbatia Kamau. Yes, oh, this is for you. Uh, the gentleman was a bit swift. <laughs> but that was just part one. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'll not take too much time. Now, first and foremost, I would really want to appreciate a table that writes in front of me. There may be aunties, there may be people related to Whitney. But really, we need to acknowledge that they traveled far to be here. Uh, Kenya is like 20 plus hours away. And let me tell you, getting a visa to come into this country <laughs> is a story for another day. <laughs> so I would want to appreciate, I think, uh, my brother-in-law, who is married to my sister. Again, this table, Masharia. We call him Mash. I don't know, short for all, but sounds dangerous, right? We also have Priscilla Magere.
Incidentally, Christian, I'm married to that lady. Uh, us Africans are polygamous by nature, but I only have one wife. For the record, I have only one wife. She's the mother of my four beautiful children. We have four, for now. <laughs> so we thank God all the time. Uh, I would want Patricia to stand up again. Patricia is my sister. So Caroline is uh, our sister. So directly we are really your, you know, we call the shots, right? <laughs> So Patricia is married to Masharia, and they have two lovely daughters here. I don't know whether Ayan and Naila could maybe just raise their hands wherever they are. Oh, there you are, good. So, so really what we're talking about here is that we have love and you know, a union that all that has to thrive in. We are wishing you well, Christian and, and, and uh, Whitney in your future endeavors together because nothing is built casually. You have to make the effort, you have to leave all those egos aside and you have to ensure that you are participant in that marriage. That's the only way things can work out. So you have best blessings from your parents and we as your uncles and aunties, clearly we are in support of all that. So have a lovely evening and God bless you all. All the way from Kenya because of this special occasion, we are so happy to be with you people. Uh, in our traditions, there is something that uh, we have to do to Whitney, being a married woman today. We have to make sure that she's able to take care of Christian in a special way by making sure that uh, this, this is called a lesson in Kiswahili, it symbolizes that you are a woman. So by giving Whitney this, it means that she's now become a woman who is able to take care of her husband. So we're giving this one to Whitney. That's how we tie it back there in Africa. Now that one, if you see somebody tied like that, that means she's really a full woman who has a husband. It's one of the tradition. And then we give this basket, a basket, we call it a kiondo. This, this is the one witness should go shopping with. As she goes to the market, then she's supposed to carry this and put her stuff inside this basket. And that's how we do it. Thank you so much. Yeah. 